Good morning and welcome to Inside Texoma. I'm Melissa Kakarika and today we're taking an inside look at a new event called Beast Feast. It's put on by the Crossroads Gang. So today I'm joined by Wes, Rebecca and Alex from the Crossroads Gang. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so what is the Crossroads Gang? I've personally never heard of this before. We're a small group of friends and um, started out with a group of guy friends that wanted to do something to help uh, their veterans, other people in the community that we live in. Thoughts of how to do that, we like to hang out together, have cook-offs. We developed a cook-off um, as our first event, did a, did a fundraiser with that, raised some money, and decided that what can we do with this and make it go further to have a passion to help veterans through the crossroads of life. So that's our name, Crossroads Gang. Um, the events that we've had are Beast Feast that we'll get to talk about a little bit later. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been able to um, increase that every year, help with Wounded Warrior Project, have given significant donations to them, as well as the Department of Veterans and um, the local VFWs. Okay, so how far back are we talking about when we say that this group of friends got, to, got together? How long have you guys been around? We've been together forever, but <laughs> <laughs> we actually developed the group a couple of years ago. It just gradually came about and we really wanted to do something probably two to three years ago. Okay, now what type of, I guess, fundraisers and cook-offs have you done in that time? Because I imagine there's been a couple as you guys were getting off the ground. This is the third annual Beast Feast coming up. Um, I'm in a conjunction with Beast Feast, we've uh, cooked for servicemen and women at the Cowboy True Art Festival. Uh, we also participate in uh, Winthorst FFA Fish Fry. Okay, so what's that like every year? I mean, pretty good, right? It's very good. Uh, very focused around serving others, um, giving food, good food, and where we can help within our community and help others that honor the service women um, and men that serve us. So let's talk a little bit about more about your mission and why that's so important to you. Why'd you pick that as you know the cause that you want to help? Well, we have several veterans in our community, and um, my dad is actually in the group, and he's actually a vet and. Um, we really know just personal experience how it is and how they need that benefit and support and stuff like that. So we really wanted to do something to help them. Okay, what about you guys? Kind of the same? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good cause to help out. You can't really go wrong. Now let's talk a little bit more about Beast Feast. You said this came about three years ago. Kind of how has it been growing over the past three years? We started out with, um, and we have it at the same location, so it's a farm um, just about 10 miles east of Winthorst. It started out with about five or six cook teams. Last year we added a few additional cooking teams to that, um, having live music uh, the first year. Um, this, this year we'll have live music both nights. So it's just grown. Uh, we've given, uh, starting out with 3,000 to 5,000 to Wounded Warrior Project, um, anticipating that to um, increase again this year. Uh, with the donations that we receive. Seems like this year maybe you guys are increasing your visibility a lot. This is the first year I've heard of it. Is that something you've been going for this year? We've had the opportunity to work with Midwestern State University in their marketing class. They will be able to talk to, um, to that a little bit more about all the benefits that they've been able to help us with to reach social media. They have gone crazy with social media <laughs> and how we can um, promote the Beast Feast. Okay, now does Crossroads Gang have a website or a way people can find out more information? Uh, we have a website. It's crossroadsgang.com. Uh, there you can register your cook team. You can buy raffle tickets. Soon we'll have merchandise available for sale. Uh, and you can also um, find out all the information, get a location, a map of where it's located. Like Rebecca said, it's 10 miles east of Winthorst and uh, a little further north than that, but uh, 10 miles east of Winthorst. I imagine you guys are always looking for new members as well to kind of help you plan Beast Feast and some of these other events. Is that true? We have lots of volunteers that help us out, and um, we're always gracious for the volunteers that we do get because it does take a lot to put something like this on. And while it's growing, we really we enjoy the help. Yeah, so how busy are you guys right now as we kind of enter the final stretch towards Beast Feast? We're doing really? pretty busy, <laughs> selling, <laughs> selling t-shirts, selling raffle tickets, putting down as far as the um, the grounds, the, the finals of having enough uh, tables and chairs and tents and everything that we need. Okay, well, now that we've piqued your interest, we're going to talk a whole lot more about what exactly Beast Feast is, what's going to be going on, all the fun you can expect when we come back on Inside Tech Summit.
Welcome back to Inside Tech Soma on this Sunday morning. Once again, I'm joined by Alex, Rebecca, and Wes from Crossroads Gang as we look ahead to Beast Feast. All right, so we've talked a little bit about the why and kind of how this came about, but let's talk about the nitty gritty here. What is going to be going on and, and when? Well, Beast Feast is a two-day event. It starts November the 13th and then goes through November the 14th. On November the 13th, we're going to have a steak and margarita cook-off. It starts um, roughly about 5.30, and then we're going to have a band, the Blaine Gillespie Band will take the stage about 9 p.m. And then on Saturday, we start the event off at 10 a.m. with uh, a Bloody Mary contest, and then at 11 is beans, 12 is chili, 1 is uh, half a chicken, and then two is pork ribs and three is beef brisket. And then we'll have an award ceremony. And after the award ceremony and live auction, we'll have uh, the boat arcs will take the stage and finish out the event. All right, obviously we want people to get out there and kind of cook those beasts. Let's talk a little bit about the cooking teams and how that process is going to go. The cooking teams are able actually to register on our website right now, which is crossroadsgang.com. They can register for the Friday night event, which is the steak and margarita, or they can register for the Saturday event or for both. Um, the, during that time, um, as all the times that we have going, the, the cooking teams will be given containers to bring up so that we can have our judges. We're looking for our judges, our veterans, um, local media. We're looking for um, local people as far as the judges as well to be participating in that. Okay. Now the cook-off teams, uh, do they have to have recipes? Can they be kind of amateur chefs? Who is this kind of geared toward? We are very relaxed. <laughs> so um, anyone that can think they can cook and just want to have fun is welcome to go on our website and just try it out. And it's, very, it's a fun, relaxed environment for families. Now what's the schedule going to be like that day for them as far as what time they need to show up and cook and awards? They'll want to be there. Most of our cooking teams come in Friday and they stay the night. We have plenty of room for RVs um, to park and stay overnight. The cooking, they'll want to be up so that they'll be able to start with their um, first one, which is at? At 11. Uh, the major cook uh, meeting is at uh, 10 a.m. Okay. And the, the awards are a little bit different. They're not cash awards, right? No. So what's going to be going on? During our award ceremony, we actually give a um, first, second, and third prize for all the categories, which are plaques that actually have Wounded Warrior symbol on them and have the um, Beast Feast on it. They, we've been able to um, do those for the three years. So it's kind of nice to say I won first year and second year, and now here's my third year prize. We also have... Um, we also give a grand champion for the overall winner that competes in all five categories. Uh, this year we are going to have a special prize also included, but we're still working on the details of that one. Um, in conjunction with the cook-off Saturday, we're going to partner up with uh, CrossFit Texoma. They'll be, com they'll be having a competitive competition out there, so there'll be a lot of CrossFitters out uh, showing off their athletic ability while all the cookers sit around and eat and drink and be merry, <laughs> they'll be watching the, the CrossFit people take place. Okay, then you got the entertainment as well. Just a lot of fun activities mm -hmm. going on, right? Yes, we have a lot of um, family-oriented type of things. We have um, a bounce house, train for the kids, sand pile, stuff like that. So they can just come out while you're looking around and watching CrossFit and stuff, and they can have fun as well. Okay, yeah, totally open to the public, right? I mean, we're talking about cooking teams, but we want the public to come out and maybe taste the food and do the activities as well, right? Yeah. It's a short drive. We will have a concession stand as well open. Um, short drive, about 40 minutes from Wichita to get to the location. It's uh, no gate fee, so it's donations only that we take. We do t-shirt sales as well as a silent auction, um, a live auction, raffle tickets. That, that's what we use for our donations back to the veterans. Let's talk a little bit more about the raffle, because that is a big part of it as well, right? Well, we have uh, six items that are being raffled off. One is a Pioneer Woman's cookware set. It's going to have a, a bunch of bowls and cook, cooking accessories. Uh, I think uh, cutting board's involved in there, but <laughs> there's, that's still being organized. We have a, we're giving away a, a gun, raffling off a gun from K2 Firearms. Uh, it'll be the, an 870 Express shotgun. 
or the cash value of that. Uh, we're also, the Windthorst FFA is building us a, a pretty large cooker uh, grill for their backyard. It's going to have cutouts of wildlife scenes on it. It's a really heavy duty, nice uh, piece of equipment for the backyard. Uh, there's going to be some uh, metal uh, chairs being built. They'll, have, they'll feature an old um, metal tractor seat as the seat itself. That's another raffle item. We have uh, a Day of Beauty, which consists of a, a facial from uh, Day Estique. <laughs> and then uh, some Rocks, Rockstar Nails is uh, donated some to that. Um, it'll include a two-person steak dinner at Morningside. I think that's right. Morningside Steakhouse in Kiowa Casino. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a haircut and style from Mode Hair Utopia. Okay, so kind of something for everybody in there mm -hmm. in the raffle. Yeah. All right, so I know let's get the dates and times out there again. November 13th and 14th, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and the location? Is um, just a 40 minute drive from Wichita Falls um, on Weitenheimer Farm. It's 10 miles from Windforce. Okay, and if you want to sign up to be a cooking team, there is a website crossroadsgangs.com. Okay, and there's a, an entry fee for the team, the cooking team. $25 for the Friday night events and $75 for the Saturday events. Okay, but just donations for the public to come out yes, and enjoy. Absolutely. Well, you guys mentioned earlier you've kind of been working with MSU a little bit, so we're going to talk to some MSU marketing students after the break. Welcome back to this episode of Inside Texoma as we take an inside look at Beast Feast going on in November. And a part of Beast Feast has to do with uh, these gentlemen next to me. They are MSU marketing students, Kevin, Zach, and Tyler. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, tell us a little bit about how you got involved with Crossroads Gang. Oh, uh, well, as a class, we had the objective from the Red River Best Chevy dealers to market the Chevy Colorado. And basically, we went out as a class, and we wanted to find an event that we could promote our product together. And then, so basically, we went and researched furthermore. And uh, Beast Feast really just fit our demographic that we were going after. Uh, and we also thought that it benefited a great cause with the local vets and the wounded warriors. So we really thought it was a perfect event to work with the Crossroads Gang and the Red River uh, Best Chevy dealers. OK, tell us a little bit more about the class and what it entails. Uh, so the class itself, um, it's, I think the best thing for us as students is, you know, it's not a simulation class. You know, we, we're dealing with real people, uh, real money, real events. Um, for us, you know, it's, it's a good experience for us because as we graduate, you know, looking for jobs, this is a great thing also for our resumes mm -hmm. to give employers like, hey, like we've done this before, like we've been on the news, we can talk to people, we can promote mm -hmm. events. So it's, it's a really big benefit to us as students. Okay, so you guys are learning all about how to promote events, right? Mm -hmm. That's the basic gist of the class? Correct. Yeah. All right, so um, <clears throat> in three, two, one. So let's talk about exactly what you're going to be doing at Beast Feast. You mentioned kind of what the objective is, but exactly what are people going to see when they go out to Beast Feast? So actually at Beast Feast, um, we as a class started off helping Beast Feast promote the event. Um, but the day of, we will be there, one, helping out in general. Um, so helping the cook, the cook teams get set up, help, you know, helping with the actual uh, getting the vendors there and the people coming in and taking donations and all of that stuff. But another objective for us, um, being that we are sponsored by the Red River Best Chevy dealers, um, is to promote the Colorado. The Chevrolet Colorado is their new uh, small pickup, um, and they've basically asked us to make the Chevrolet Colorado a household name. Um, and that's what we're there, and that's what we're going to accomplish. 
Okay, so the cars will actually be out there? Yes, we will, yes, have, yeah. we will have some Colorados and we'll even have some of the, the Tahoes and Suburbans and maybe a few Silverados also. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your strategy? Are you guys like prepared for this? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, I think we're actually like prepared for it more than we actually think we are. Because mm -hmm. um, I mean, this is like a really big thing for us. So, you know, it's going to be, you know, nerves are going to kick in. But as soon as we get there and start talking to the people that come and show up, you know, we're going to use, you know, those marketing skills that we learned from our classes to really promote the Chevy Colorado. Um, yeah. We actually got to test drive the Colorado versus uh, a few of the other brand names also. Um, so we have firsthand experience in the vehicle and know a lot about it. Yeah, and like there, there's 30 of us in the class. And so we like we get the chance to discuss ideas and um, like make sure that everybody's on the same page with, you know, where we're going with the direction of the class and like what we're actually going to do. So. Um, it's like a really good environment to collaborate and to make sure that, you know, like on the day that the event happens that everybody's prepared and we know which, you know, way to go. So you guys are really busy right now heading into Beast Beast, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Extremely. Yeah. Um, we have, um, as far as we're on the radio right now, we have commercials being made for radio as well as on TV. So yes, we're definitely really busy. I mean, it, the event's in, what, two weeks now? So it's, it's getting close and we're getting even more excited about it. So what has this partnership been like working with Crossroads Gang and how it all came together? What's that been like for you guys? I personally, I think they're, they're great people. So it, it kind of, the, their event kind of fell in our lap from us doing our research and where we should promote our product. Um, but like I said, the, the premise of going to local veterans, going to the Wounded Warrior Project, um, it's basically everything works out really, really well. You know, they have our target demographic, but also they're great people. Um, super helpful to us, giving us all the information we need I know they're super grateful to us for you know doing the same thing the other way, reciprocating that uh, that help. How did you get connected to them? Were you kind of given a list of events that you could work on in the class, or how did that work out? Uh, well, we know someone in the local community that basically um, connected us with them, and then she is a big supporter of uh, the local veterans and also the Wounded Warrior Project, and uh, she gave us a suggestion that we should reach out to them, uh, and it en ended up working out great. Okay, so if people head out to Beast Beast on uh, November 13th and 14th, where can they find you? What should they be looking for? Uh, uh, yellow t-shirts. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we're all going to be wearing uh, bright neon green uh, sweatshirts, and they're going to have the, like, the logos on the front. So if anybody has any questions, you know, don't be afraid to approach the, the giant man in the neon <laughs> green t-shirt. I have all questions and answers for you guys. Um, also, feel free and hit up the website, crossroadsgang.com. That's where all of the, the actual information for the event is. Okay, anything else you guys would like to add? Um, I think it's, you know, it's an overall great event. You know, uh, for me personally, it hits home because I have my brothers in the military and my grandpa and my, my father both served. So, you know, it's a, I think it's a really great cause to support our local vets as well as the whole Wooden Warrior project in itself. Uh, it's going to be a good time since you all come out and support the Crossroads Games. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Great reason to support the Crossroads. Yeah, and um, <laughs> we're always looking for teams. So if anybody, you know, has a bunch of people they want to come out and cook with, then That'd be a great. Yeah, maybe you guys should cook. Can you do both at the same time? <laughs> uh, I, I think we're already committed to uh, to coming out to the event and working it, so I guess we can. All right, well, thanks for being here, guys. We'll talk a little bit more about Beast Beast when we come back. It's only November, but on the next Inside Tech Soma, we're getting you in the Christmas spirit by taking an inside look at two upcoming holiday events in Tech Soma. We'll tell you about Hangar Holiday, Put on by the Shepherd Officer Spouses Club. You can get all your Christmas shopping done while helping a great cause. Plus, we'll look ahead to this year's Gingerbread Jubilee event, put on by the Nonprofit Center. Find out more on Inside Texoma Sunday, November 8th. And if you want to see previous episodes of Inside Texoma, just head to newchannel6now.com and click Inside Texoma. And if you want to be on Inside Texoma, just reach out to New Channel 6 with your idea. We would love to have you on the show. See you Sunday mornings on Inside Tech Soma. Welcome back to Inside Tech Soma. Today we're getting ready for Beast Feast coming up in the middle of November here. So once again, I'm joined by Kevin from our MSU marketing class and then Wes and Alex from our Crossroads gang. You guys have teamed up for Beast Feast. Tell everybody just what they need to know about Beast Feast, all the events that are going to be going on. It's going to be Friday and Saturday, November 13th and 14th, and we'll have, um, Friday we'll have steak and margarita once again, and then we'll have several different categories on Saturday. 
and we'll have kids activities and we're also going to have CrossFit um, competition. So how did they get involved? So as far as the CrossFit, um, actually one of our classmates, Brent, uh, he's actually a veteran himself. Uh, he served two actually tours in Afghanistan and when, and when he came back from the field, you know, he wanted to get into CrossFit, something that's pretty innovative in itself. So he thought, hey, like, I throw a CrossFit competition every year. Let's get those guys out there. So that kind of, he kind of brought in the whole CrossFit mix to Beast Feast. So I think Pro Science is going to be a really awesome thing to have out there um, because, you know, CrossFit in itself is a very beneficial thing, and it's been super innovative, and so is Beast Feast. So it's like, like it's, it's two separate worlds, but it's also two very, like, I guess, innovative things coming to big, I mean, it's going to be a good event. So Yeah. And you guys also have entertainment, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have uh, two bands on Friday night. The Blaine Gillespie Band will be there starting around 9 p.m. And then Saturday, the Boat Arcs will take the stage uh, roughly about 6 p.m. Okay, and like you said, that's in addition to the raffle and all the activities and all the great food. Now, are there any deadlines for those cooking teams who want to sign up? Um, you can sign up at CrossroadsGang.com. Um, we prefer you do it that way, but you, you can come out the day of and sign up take anybody yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. okay and we're looking at the website right here so maybe just kind of direct us around um the tabs you have there there's a contact tab um where would they find the applications to be the cooking team? on the bottom of the home page there's a uh, cook team registration raffle tickets purchasing and then you can hit the tab for more beast feast information great and it looks like you have a facebook page and some instagram going on there too we do we do. You can follow us on Facebook, CrossroadsGang.com, or Crossroads Gang. I think I don't know even what our Facebook is. Yeah, Crossroads Gang. <laughs> Crossroads uh -huh. Gang. Okay, so mark your calendars for Beast Feast, and then also going on November eighth, you have something going on, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we're actually um, we have partnered up with Texas Roadhouse, and they are going to um, on November eighth. They're going to donate ten percent of all the profits that they sell all their sales to us for another kind of additional donation so and all of that is going to go back to help veterans yes just like beast it's going to go to our beast feast cook-off and it'll go to the veterans the wounded warrior all that vfw stuff mm -hmm. okay so some great causes there obviously yes. we want people to come out and support how does it split up as far as what goes to wounded warrior and what goes to other veterans? and we kind of have a um like already pre figured out but okay. we just we're excited to see how it's going to go and what we can give that way so okay and you guys are obviously excited for beast feast right very yeah. extremely yeah <laughs> well i want to thank you guys for being here have we missed anything is there anything else people need to know about this event it's free for the public it's family friendly uh, bring your cook teams if you can cook in the backyard you can cook at our event it's a non-sanctioned event uh, prizes or awards will be given um, we challenged the backyard griller to come out and participate. Okay. Well, let's get the whole gang up here. We've had a pretty busy show uh, this <laughs> today. I think it might be the largest inside Texoma crowd we've ever had. We got our marketing students here and our Crossroads gang. You want to tell everyone to come to Beast Feast? Yes, come out to Beast come Feast. Up. You know, if you want great food, you can show up. You know, um, it's free to come out. It's support the Crossroads gang and the local vets. Or anything to that. Just come out. Just come out. Can't make it more simple than that. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. thank you so much. And thank you for tuning in to Inside Texoma on this Sunday. Have a great day.